All right, man, we back. Motor City Sports Talk. We're in the building. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button for me. Share the videos. And, uh, yeah, man, we're going to talk about uh, Terrell Crosby today, uh, showing his explosiveness, jumping out the pool. You've seen the video. But uh, Jerry Davis has made a miraculous body transformation. Excuse me, i do my traditional neck crack. Um, body transformation. They said when he came to this particular uh you know, nutritionists or whatever they want to call it, program, he, and I put it on the screen so you can know who they are, he was 227 pounds, now they got him up to 248 pounds, and, and basically, not being, in, not being in proper football shape, they think it hindered his ability to be able to cover and, and play football at a high level, so let's talk about it, hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video, and what would be funny about stuff like this is dudes don't do this until the money on the line you know what i'm saying dudes don't get serious until it's time for a payday dudes don't start giving a all and, and turning and turning up turning it over turning every turning every stone until it's time to get money 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 is is the best motivator you know amongst athletes and amongst most hum, human beings money these dudes be couldn't can he couldn't wait Contract year, he's gonna get in this program, get his contract, and probably fall off. That's what it's about. These dudes that they they build up for one one year right before they get time to get paid. They have one good year and they go lift all these weights and do all this. They said his bench press was 297 pounds. Dude, you a professional football player. You know what I'm saying? When I had cut down the college man and I was getting ready to do some things. I was like his right around 225, 227. And I can bench 315. Rep it. And you telling me you a National Football League player, a linebacker, and your bench press was 297, my brother? That's pathetic to me. What the hell you doing? You know what I'm saying? That's why you always getting more about, you know, getting picked up by blockers and falling all over the place. He wasn't built the right way. So now he getting serious with it because the money was on the line. He probably been in this program for, for like six months since the season ended. The money on the line now. So it just, it just ain't no corona pandemic shit. And when they declined the fifth year option, now he really, he really got to get serious about it. You know, and I, and I just and I just I just find I just find these things funny, bro. Excuse me. I know my beard all nappy because I had that my mask on, so I'm abiding. Big Gretch, doing what you say do, man. I open the gym back up. That's all I care about. Open the city back up. We wouldn't be in three billion dollars worth of debt if you did. But that's another story for another day. You feel me? But yeah, now you gotta watch out for guys like that. All of a sudden, they, they want to transfer. They have one good year. And we'll see if it helps. Will it help them? It, it can't do nothing but help. That means you wasn't in, in good condition. And playing football, it's all about condition. That's what made that's what made Barry Sanders and Emmitt Smith two of the greatest backs of all time. When you can wear a defense out and your leg's still there for you to pop a 50-yarder, pop a 20-yarder, you can outrun DBs. That's that's the that's that's conditioning is it and if you ain't properly conditioned this is why you have leads that fall apart when you see the Lions up by 10 going to the fourth quarter and the strength and conditioning coach for the Lions they need to look at him uh, funny you know they might need to hire whoever running this program and pick him up for the Lions but all, all this is, is what you do when, when, when things on the, on the line it kind of, I like to make analogies. When you was in school, when I was in school, I can't put this on y'all. When I was in, you know, middle school, what I used to do is, you know, when the, when the quarter was about to end, I used to do all my work to bring my D's and E's up to a C. You feel me? I was, I was, my study habits was on point. I was going hard in the paint. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing here. You know, now that the money on the line, now your livelihood on the line, now your career on the line, you in danger of probably slipping out the NFL. 
Now Jerry Davis is is, is is rushing to get all do all his work. But what you gotta understand is sometimes when you put yourself in an abyss, when you dip, sometimes it's hard to get yourself out that hole or out that abyss. Sometimes it's hard to unbreak all the habits. This this is something he should have been doing from year one, going from year one to year two. Honestly, this is something he should have been doing from year one to year two. Not not year three going to year four. But what you know, do I expect him to go out there and ball out this year? Yeah. I said it before. When they declined that fifth year option, I said, man, I got a feeling he gonna go out there and have and have a hell of a year. He gonna go out there and ball out and us or somebody else is gonna pay him a lot of money. He's gonna revert back to what he was before then. And not to say he don't have good character. Like, he, he seemed to be a high character guy. They like him. When you have all the character in the world, you're not be a good football player. But lifting those weights ain't gonna, ain't gonna fix, ain't gonna be the remedy. It ain't gonna be the complete remedy. Fixing, flipping your hips, technique, you know, learning to jam, jam the tight ends off the linebackers, learning to wrap up and tackle. Learn, learn, learning all that stuff, bro. He tack, he shoestring tackling. He not even good at. I had a, uh, one of my room college roommates. He was known to be a good string uh, tackler, shoestring tackler. You know they were saying, oh, you know Joe avoiding uh, uh, head contact. You know he been avoiding the big hits. But you know what? That's, he was a DB. One thing Joe can do is when he tackle, he can tackle no matter what his method was. He was more of a Deion Sanders type tackling dude. He liked to get the ankles and trip you up. But he was successful at shoestring tackle. Jared Davis is a linebacker. You can't you can't always be a shoestring tackler being a linebacker. You got to be able to be collision. Excuse me. You got to be able to dunk. You got to be able to deliver, bring the pain. Bring the wood, as we used to say it. You know, we used to, it was legal to do bully in the ring in the alley. These kids soft nowadays. They miss a water break, you know. Motherfuckers, you know, get sick and all that other shit, you know. Call their parents and their mom and daddy get in there. But to kind of wrap it up on Davis, I think uh, I just got a feeling he'll have a good year this year. And if he don't, you know, he might find himself for the Toronto Argonauts in the CFL. But... This is some shit he should have did a long time ago, but it, you know it is what it is, man. Um, other than that, Terrell Crosby showing his uh, fantastic, you know, athletic ability. And you know, a lot of people ask me about Terrell Crosby. Terrell Crosby, I know why don't the Lions play Terrell Crosby? He did a good job at Green Bay last year. And actually, you got to go back and see how many times they chipped, how many times they kept a tight end on his side. You got to go back and look at those type of things with Terrell Crosby, you feel me? But the thing, the thing, you know, that I need to see is can they, can, can, why don't he can't play? Why don't you give him a shot? You could have saved some money with Big V and Terrell Crosby should be ready to start at right tackle right now. Bare minimum, he should be able to give you, he should be able to give you some, uh, he should be able to give you some, uh, some playing time at, at right or left guard this year. Shouldn't no rookie beat Terrell Crosby out at the guard position. So either, like I was saying last night, the, pit, the Lions got a problem with player development or just the talent ain't there. But like I said before, they want to use him like a Lee Adrian Waddle type of guy. But, you know, he shows great athleticism. To be a 300-pound man, to be able to jump out of that amount of water, you know, that's, that's great, man. So I want to see him uh, get an opportunity and maybe he do beat out Big V and they slide Big V into the guard uh, position, you know, and, and maybe that might be a situation. But, you know, I think it's time to see what he got instead of spending all that money on uh on Big V. You know, but hey, it is what it is, man. But let me know how impressed you was with Terrell Crosby. Let me know what you think about the Jared Davis situation. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you got business questions, quality response, video requests. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation to the channel. Cash at PayPal description. Only way I ask you to donate is to share, share the video. Appreciate the love, support. I think I got a Pistons live stream coming up pretty soon. 
So uh, be on the lookout. That'll be the next live stream. I do a lesson breaking news come out. But hey, appreciate the love one time for the one time. We gone.